Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am Rasenio BJJ and we are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video. This time featuring my teammate and friend, David, who is a four stripe blue belt who almost exclusively plays guard. And I decided to film and roll with him so I could get better at guard passing and he's a guard player. So this is gonna be a very, very technical match between a guard player and a guard passer. There's gonna be very few openings for attacks but uh, between the two of us so I want to break this down so you guys can see the nuances and how a very technical role can go so with all that plug out of the way let's get into the video here we are we're going to slap bump and immediately start going I'm going to try to establish my grips but David has longer arms and appendages so he gets into his open guard position right here he tries to elevate me but I'm able to balance my weight and he gets me into a closed guard now David is a lot taller than me as as, as you can see with this closed guard his legs are very very uh, close behind my back and they're, they're pretty far behind my back because I'm not as tall as he is so right here what I'm doing is I'm checking the back of his feet trying to see which way his feet are oriented so I know which foot is on top so when I actually do stand I'm able to break the guard right there so here I'm trying to uh, trap his right arm under under my uh, right arm and uh, stand up and do a standing guard break right here I'm not able to uh, to do that I'm trying to keep him at bay and keep my posture because I know he goes for triangles that's his signature move I've rolled with him many many times in the past so right here he shoots up a triangle does a very good job but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna feed my left hand inside his leg right there keep my posture up looking up at the ceiling he's trying to break my posture down but I'm able to gable grip my arms and uh, shimmy my shoulders and bring him back to the close guard so like I said David plays a lot of triangle open guard um, type of game and I need to be aware of that so that was one of the attacks that he tried right there so here I'm able to open up his guard like I said I was checking in the back to see how his legs were oriented uh, so right here, he's going to go for the umapada, but my arm is not bent behind. So right here, he immediately gets into a turtle position, and I want to capitalize on that position. I don't want him to, or don't want him to be playing his open guard, but I uh, elevate too far forward. I was on his back, and my upper half was too far forward. I should have sat my hips back on his back to establish the position, and now I have to uh, start uh, trying to pass his open guard once again. Here, I'm still trying to pass his open guard, and I've got uh, hands on the lapels. I'm keeping his... Uh, right leg at bay or at least I was and then he gets into a almost a spider lasso position right here He's got very very long legs and uh, it's it's uh, it's a pain to, to pass it try to pass his guard and uh, Pass his guard so right here He's going inverted again and also he's very very flexible So he's got a very good guard game so right here He gets me back into the close guard, but I play a lot of close guard So I know exactly what I need to be doing I need to be posturing and anytime he sits up I need to flatten him back down making sure he can't break my posture now David is like I said He's very he's much taller than me so he doesn't need to sit up as far so anytime he even tries to sit up I'm using my right hand to punch the lapels and punch his chest back down as you can see right here punch his chest back down he tries to get go up for another triangle but he doesn't lock the shoulder and I'm able to shimmy my shoulder back in and immediately get back into the close guard and immediately start punching uh, the lapels in his chest to stop him from uh, breaking my posture down so right here I'm starting to stand he tries to uh, hook the leg right there he opens the guard and uh, what he's doing right here is he's trying to go for that matrix position right there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the back of his lapel I'm going to slow his inversion and as soon as he comes up I'm going to step my hips back and I try to uh, basically shimmy his hips and get into a side control position but he was able to recover the guard like I said a very very good guard player so now I have to start over again right here he's trying to um, feed my lapel to his other hand trying to sit up break the posture any way he can but I'm doing a good job of flattening his chest back to the mat I don't want him to elevate I don't want him to come up I don't want him to do anything until I'm ready to pass the guard so here he is like I said he's got a very very long guard so it's it's difficult for me to pass but he's able to open the guard right here and he starts playing a shallow De La Hiva with a butterfly hook. So now is my time that I'm thinking that I'm going to try to pass. What I'm trying to do is uh, grab the lapels and go for an X pass, but he's got a good grip on my right pant leg. I'm not able to set up my X, X pass right there. So right here, he starts to go for a deep, deeper De La Hiva. I'm still trying to keep that leg pinned. I'm still using my left hand to guide his leg in between my legs he's got a deep daily heaver right here he uh, starts to try to spin and come up for like an ankle pick but I'm able to circle and square up with him and stop him from getting that position right there so here I am I'm also uh, trying to stop him from grabbing my pant leg as soon as I free that pant leg I know that I have the back step pass so I try to back step pass there he lets go of the pant leg and I get into a, a half guard smashed half guard from the top and that was my time to pass but he's able to recover the guard and get that butterfly hook in there so again I'm going to try it again I'm 
feeding that lapel to the other side of his head he's able to swing his leg over and try to set up a submission so i bail from that and now i'm still trying to pass the guard from my knees so what i like to do is i like to pass from my knees and then stand and then try to pass and then come back down so right here he goes for that k guard matrix and i'm grabbing the back of his uh belt right here i'm trying to slow his inversion he's very good at getting inverted so i'm trying to slow his inversion and then i want to follow him but here he tries to he spins and almost gets into a uh, a 50 50 position but right here i'm in the smash half guard i feed that lapel to the other side this is the time that i like to pass right here so what i'm trying to do is he's got again he's got that butterfly hook that's very very long and i need to step my right foot over over that butterfly hook and pass into side control so right here I try, but he follows me with that long leg, follows me with that long hook. I'm not able to set it up. So here um, the time runs out and that is the end of the roll. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the roll. I hope you guys enjoyed it, watching a very good guard player versus a very good guard passer. So let's talk about a few of the takeaways. So if you're ever going against someone who is long and lanky, playing an open guard or a closed guard, posture, posture, posture. Maintaining a good posture is going to prevent you from getting submitted with the triangle, armbar, omoplatas. As you can see throughout the video, I never really gave him a chance to bring my head to his chest or bring my arm across the center line to set up those submissions. There were a few opportunities that he, that he shot up the triangle just because he's long and lanky but I immediately postured up brought my hands to the inside and stopped him from setting up the triangle uh, a few of the takeaways with the K guard and the matrix position so what I did was when he entered that position and I knew I wasn't going to be able to stop that leg from coming over I grabbed the back of his lapel I grabbed the the belt and I slowed his inversion down that way when he bailed on the inversion or when he tried to continue with the inversion I would I would be able to pull him down into a turtle position and try to pass the guard the first time I did it I had a little I was a little slow on trying to follow him and I almost ended up in another triangle but I immediately postured up and the second time we ended up in a 50 50 but I came up um, and started being in a floaty half guard position that I like to pass unfortunately time ran out so again I like rolling with David a lot because he is a very good guard player and honestly he gets me ready for m most of my competitions whenever I have something coming up I always try to roll with him because I know that his guard game is fantastic. And if I can find openings in his guard game, I'll be able to find openings in other people's guard games. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you need to, this this one is probably one of the most technical ones on the channel. If you need to, slow it down, rewind it. Uh, point out anything that you see that can help me get better at guard passing. Uh, I kind of stepped in a little bit too much into his into his guard realm. I, I would say I was too close. I should have played more on the outside, but David is just so long and lanky that that I needed to stop him from being able to set up any type of guard position. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.